हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टाइटल फॉर्म्स ऑफ प्रेसिपिटेशन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन मैस्ट एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विद सीड इंडस्ट्री एंड वर्किंग फॉर वन ऑफ द एम सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन प्रेसिपिटेशन Precipitation is the process of transforming the water vapor into a liquid or solid form depending upon the temperature of air near the clouds. The term precipitation is a common term. It includes a variety of forms of precipitation like mist, rain, hail, sleet and snow. The term precipitation and rainfall are always used synonymously. Precipitation mainly depends on the water vapor present in the atmosphere. When the air temperature is well below the freezing point, clouds may form tiny ice crystals. Seventy-eight percent of global precipitation occurs over the oceans. Here we have shown the different forms of precipitation like sleet, snow, freezing rain, drizzle, rain, and hail. Rainfall. Rainfall is most common form of precipitation occurring in almost all parts of the world. In tropical regions, precipitation is expected completely as rainfall. In the polar regions, precipitation is expected to be completely as snowfall. In mid latitudes, at high altitudinal zones, precipitation occurs as snowfall, sleet, and ice. All these are called as forms of precipitation. Rain develops when growing clouds droplets become too heavy to remain in the clouds. As a result, fall towards the surface as rain. Rain can also begin as ice crystals that collect each other to form large snowflakes. As the falling snow passes through the freezing level into warmer air, the flakes melt and collapse into raindrops. Rain is precipitation of liquid water particles either in the form of drops having diameter greater than 0.5 mm or in the form of a smaller widely scattered drops. When the precipitation process is very active, the lower air is moist. and the clouds are very deep rain fall is in the form of heavy downpour on occasions falling rain drops completely evaporate before reaching the grounds now drizzle it is fairly uniform precipitation composed of fine drops of water having diameter less than 0.5 mm small and uniform size and seems to be floated in the air it is referred as drizzle If the drops in a drizzle completely evaporates before reaching the ground, the condition is referred to as mist. Now to discuss about hail, precipitation of a small pieces of ice with diameter ranging from five to fifty millimeter or something more is known as hail. Hail storms are frequent in tropics. Hail is a large frozen raindrop produced by intense thunderstorms, where snow and rains can coexist in the central updraft. is the snow flakes fall liquid water freezes onto them forming ice pellets that will continue to grow as more and more droplets are accumulated upon reaching the bottom of the cloud some of the ice pellets are carried by the up draft back up to the top of a storm in india the period from march to may offers the ideal condition for hail storms it is the most dreaded and destructive form of precipitation produced in thunderstorms or cumulonimbus clouds freezing rain ice storms can be most devastating of winter weather phenomena and are often the cause of automobile accidents power outages and personal injury ice storms result from the accumulation of freezing rain which is rain that becomes super cooled and freezes upon impact with cold surfaces freezing rain is most commonly found in a narrow band on the cold side of a warm front where surface temperature are 8 or just below freezing freezing rain develops as falling snow encounters a layer of warm air deep enough for the snow to completely melt and become rain as the rain continues to fall it passes through a thin layer of cold air just above the surface and cools to a temperature below freezing However the drops themselves do not freeze a phenomena called supercooling or forming supercooled drops when the supercooled drops strike the frozen ground like power lines or tree branches 
दे इंस्टेंटली फ्रीज फॉर्मिंग ए थीन फिल्म ऑफ आइस हेंस फ्रीजिंग रेन नाउ टू स्टडी अबाउट स्नो इट इज द प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ व्हाइट एंड ओपेक ग्रेन्स ऑफ आइस स्नो इज द प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ सॉलिड वाटर मेनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रांच हेक्सागोनल क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ स्टार्स इन विंटर When temperatures are below freezing in the cold atmosphere the ice crystals falling from the alto stratus do not melt and reach the ground as snow the snow fall is another form of precipitation it comes as a percentage of annual precipitation accounting for 5% globally the snow melts and creates a stream flow on the prairies the snow melts accounts for about 80% of the stream flow and water stored in slogs The snowfalls are measured using snow gauges. The snow gauges are shielded and mounted on brackets such that the gauge can be raised as the snow accumulates inside and can be measured. The most accurate method of determining snowfall amounts requires frequent measurement of changes in the depth of snow on ground because snow tends to quickly settle and undergo metamorphosis. Now we'll study about sleet. it refers to precipitation in the form of a mixture of rain and snow it consists of a small pellets of transparent ice 5 mm or less in diameter it refers to a frozen rain that forms when rain falling to the earth passing through a layer of cold air and freezes this happens when temperature is very low it is not commonly seen in india expect high ranges that too in winter in extreme north and northeast india Sleet is less prevalent than freezing rain and is defined as frozen rain drops that bounce on impact with the ground or other objects. Sleet is more difficult to forecast than freezing rain because it develops under more specialized atmospheric conditions. It is very similar to freezing rain in that it causes surfaces to become very slick but is different because it is easily visible. So this was all about forms of precipitation. Hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation in share. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it, and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements in next coming presentations. Thank you.